All right, Pipers. Huh? I know how concerned everybody is. So I thought I'd hit you up on this two for Tuesday. Actually, it's gonna be a three for Tuesday. So. We have done absolutely nothing to this pipe. If you recall, I could hold it like this and it would just fall out. Kind of like you guys, just fall out. Anyway, so, but, nevertheless, we did figure something out. Obviously, it is uh, heat related, but it's not from smoking. I believe it's from the, the outside temperatures from leaving it in my truck, which is probably not a good idea. I just don't have a comfortable way I carry a backpack. It works. I'd have to get like somewhat of a hard case to throw in there to keep them with me. It helped keep them cooler. But still bounce around from truck to truck, but I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. I, I don't have the answers for everything. You can't always come to your old boys. Yeah, you can. Anyways. So um, I don't know if it's from in and out of the truck, in and out of the house, you know, because it's in the house, it comes out to the truck, it sits at the truck sometimes at work. And again, it's been, you know, we've been hitting like 90, a little above 90 lately. But the reason I say that is because this morning you saw it was loose. I came out to the truck, I started grabbing my Boswell and I saw the pouch for this one sitting there and I thought, oh, well, let's smoke it and see if it tightens up. And I grabbed it and I could feel the tightness. I mean, I can't just I mean, I could turn it, but I can't just loosely turn it at all. I mean, it's in there like it was when I first got it. Nice and tight, just the way we like them. Anyhow. So, sitting in the truck in the heat has fixed it temporarily. I'm guessing when it cools down, like if I take it in the house, maybe it's gonna shrink back up. I don't know, like I said. I don't have all the answers, but I actually do have all the answers. I, I don't really, you know, I, I'm not sure what to tell you at this point. However, we are smoking it, and that's what counts. Haven't got a chance to read replies today or comments and reply at all. We're super busy at work. Pretty much get home and just want to go to bed lately. However, <laughs> just kidding. Um, I'm assuming the people that watch my videos, the, you know, two or three, saw the Otter video. I Something made me think of that and I knew I had it, a bunch of little clips I took on, uh, when I was out fly fishing a year or two ago on the Fall River. I thought I'll post that. Somebody's gonna get some amusement out of that. It's kind of a cool little thing of him eating that little trout. I actually, there's a story behind it. Not a crazy, it was crazy at the moment. But I'll go ahead and tell you that story since I got you here and I'm super happy about my pipe. brown slice twist by the way so I'm headed to one of my spots at the river and there's rapids coming down and I, I'm in the river and when I'm walking out there I'm plenty of the way out there and I see something floating steadily floating in pretty rapid water coming off a waterfall and I'm like what the heck is that I'm looking and it's like 
it looks it looks like a beaver and it looks like it's got teeth down to here it's insane look i can't even figure out what it is i'm staring at it and it's kind of floating at me so i'm getting a little nervous I'm like, what? then it dunks under the water i'm like oh that's nice he's gonna come bite my legs so as uncle willie would say i stay ready I have my hand on the 40 that's inside my waders right here. <laughs> I'm thinking, if this thing comes out, I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna smoke him. I might even hold the gun sideways and just go gangster on him, you know? So I'm, I'm backing out of the water with my fly rod in one hand, hand on the other hand on the pistola. And then he pops back up and he is closer. And I'm like, what the heck? And then I see, oh, it's an otter. And then he goes back under. Now I'm really nervous, thinking, oh, what's this thing doing? You know, is he going to get territorial on me? They do have slides going in and out of the river in the area. I've never seen one there, though, till then. And then he pops up, and he's further away, and he's past me now. So that's a good thing. And then he climbs up, and then when I figure everything out, I see it. So he's got a little trout. He was in there fishing just like me, which I thought was pretty cool. I did better than he did, though. I always do good in that spot. Anyhow, we, we fly fish at Euro style right there. So he hops up there, and I was so flabbergasted, thought it was so cool. I'm taking pictures, taking little video clips of him eating this stupid little trout. And it was super exciting. I seeing stuff happening in the wild is I think is so awesome. And seeing bear and it's funny, is right where he was sitting, there's a little trail right above him, and I was uh and it a lot of people mountain bike there. And I fish there primarily in the winter when it's snow and ice. I was sitting up on the little trail above where you saw the video of the otter. And I, all of a sudden, I was just sitting there spacing out, staring at the waterfall, just, just enjoying. And all of a sudden, I heard this, well, well, I jumped up, boy, let me tell you. I thought a bear was coming for me. And it was a guy on a mountain bike riding the ice trail with spikes on his tires. And it made all kinds of weird noise coming up. And it, yeah, he got a chuckle out of that one. But that's it. Let's throw down that... uh three for Tuesday on a two for Tuesday day that is and that's all I got for you hey I hope everybody had a great Tuesday and we'll see you on well come on you know what day it is tomorrow <laughs>